What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. In the next few minutes I wanted to do a short price analysis and price prediction on Avalanche against USDT. Uh, this will be a small update because I did an analysis on this I think the 7th of November. So this was my prediction that I thought it would retrace from where it was right there just because it was at a big uh, resistance. Uh, but it went up, found support there right here, uh, then went up and had a bigger retracement. And um, yeah, now it's finding resistance at uh, this level. So between 100 and 1.6 and 104, uh, just to make it easier. And still, the, the highs are still getting higher. So that's very bullish. Um, it, it like recovered very quickly from the bearish fundamental move in the whole crypto market, this one. So it went from 101 to... 80, 83 so almost a 20 percent loss and we're at the 22 billion market cap right now i actually think that if avalanche manages to break through this uh 102.5 104 uh, resistance area we can actually see an even bigger uptrend of avalanche because in the end we are in a bullish uh, crypto season and even those uh, big market cap coins can go up uh, way more I mean, you could argue that these coins even uh, can can rise even quicker than low <clears throat> market cap coins, uh, just because they're established. And you also have to look at the project. I'd advise you to take a look at Avalanche, at their white paper and stuff, and some comparison between other cryptos because Avalanche is quite quick as well. Or fast is the better better methodology. So, yeah, taking all of that into consideration, I mean, normally I'd say that the price will, if it finds resistance so much, it will probably consolidate, which could happen, something like this. So, a consolidation between 100 and 3.6 and probably 85 or 81. So, that could happen. But I, I really think that there's still a lot of bullish potential and still momentum in the price as well. That if Avalanche manages to to maybe find resistance here once more, maybe a little bit higher than this uh, wick even, and if it then retraces to anywhere between I think 94.4 and ultimately 92, I think we can actually see a break of this level. Maybe find a break retest. And then ultimately, I think for the next couple of days and weeks, I mean, it, it, it won't be an immediate move. It might be, but I just don't think it will. I think we can see uh, 125 just because of this FIP, which tends to be, or which has shown us to be quite reliable. Here it found resistance a little bit under it. The 125 is a psychological resistance level. Uh, so I really think we could see that. And obviously, as I said, not in one line, we'll probably see something like this probably just to be realistic but yeah I, I really think that's possible for avalanche in the next coming days and weeks obviously then i'm not taking into consideration another bearish november drop uh, i mean i mean that would maybe that could set it back to this but yeah you'll know when it happens because you'll probably be crying because all the coins are in the red um but yeah this this situation would be in normal market conditions as i as i think we are right now so yeah if you have any questions about this analysis please let me know down in the comments and i'll make sure to respond to that as soon as possible with some uh, further explanation um as for now thank you all for watching and listening and i hope to see you in my next videos bye